when you got, you know, when you're doing it one way so long, but God's coming and change things, people don't get, they, they, they don't move with change too easy. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. They don't, they don't. Verse 23, that Christ would suffer, that he would be the first to, be, to rise from the dead and would proclaim light to the Jewish people and to the Gentiles. Verse 24, now as this, as this was made, he made his defense, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, you are beside yourself, much learning is driving you mad. In other words, Paul, in other words, <laughs> in other words, Paul, you know it's always going to be that one that's going to speak up and say, you foolish, you crazy. I'd rather be foolish and crazy for Jesus than die and go to hell. And he said, you got much learning about this Jesus. He's saying, you're crazy. He'd already said, he basically told him he was crazy that, you know, Jesus was going to ride, you know, God was going to raise Jesus from the dead. He'd already think he was crazy anyway. But go to the next one. But look what, but look what Paul says. But I say, I am not mad, most noble Festus, but speak the word of truth and reason. I'm speaking truth. I'm speaking life. You know, out of my tongue is, you know, what's coming out of my tongue is, it's life. Yeah. You know, we should be speaking more life. Yeah. No matter, you know, no matter what, what's going on, no matter who's made you mad, yeah. who's done you wrong. Yes, it hurts. It hurts the flesh. It's, it's the flesh you're dealing with. But deal with this. Let the spirit deal with it. You know what the spirit will cause you to do? You can have a brother or sister in here that you ain't talked to in 25 years. They sit there and, and sit there and got something against you. But you begin to speak in truth and say, I love you and really mean it. And really mean it. You can you have done so much right there. That's true. We got to worship God in spirit and truth. Well, if you got to worship in spirit too, you might gonna love your brother, treat your brother the same way. Yeah, because you know, how can you sit there saying say that you love a God you never seen, but your brother's right here, you got to all against him. Huh? Amen. Go to verse 26. It said, For the king before whom I also speak freely knows these things. What I've been, what I'm preaching now, you know what it is to be true. For I am convinced that none of these things escape his attention since these things was not done in a corner. In other words, I'd have to, no, 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 no. No, when God told the prophet what was going to happen, all down 42 generations that Jesus was going to come, they didn't get in a corner and hide this. And then, and, then, and then when it happened, Jesus walked here, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, told you that I come to do my father's will. He didn't hide nothing. He didn't have to go in the corner. Amen. Okay, I'm saved. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm born again. I, I ain't hiding that. I ain't hiding that. No, I ain't hiding that. So no, I don't have to go in the corner. I have to go in the corner. And, and, you know, they, did, they knew this wasn't done in the corner. Next verse. King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know that you do believe. When I read that, I know you believe. But you're still in this incest marriage. You know what the prophet said, that Jesus was going to come, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Then Agrippa said to Paul, you almost persuaded me to be, to be a Christian. And the reason that he did not want to be a Christian is because just what I said, he was married to his, his sister. You know another reason he didn't want, to, didn't want to get born again, didn't want to get saved? What is he? A king ain't. He didn't want to buy down to the, uh, uh, the ultimate king. He didn't want to buy down to Jesus. He didn't want to bow down to Jesus at all. He wanted to keep living like he's living. Even though the truth, truth has came to you, the truth is coming to you today that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you want to stay what you in? 
I tell you what, since you want to stay what you in, I, look here, I'm going to let you do that. And look here, when you lift your eyes up in hell, when you lift your eyes up in hell, you cannot say Harry Lee Jackson Jr. did not tell you that you got to be born again. <laughs> 